Hey, hey everybody! What up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you with a little bit of the old Mandalorian. This time it's episode three, chapter three. We won't know the title until they tell us. Ooh, son, I'm excited. Ooh. Last episode was really fun for me. I don't know about you guys. I, I yeah. Had a blast. So they're uh, limping through space. Um, we're gonna they see they're limping. they're gonna make it to the uh, the planet where uh, old girl's frog husband. And they're able to lay their spawns. And Baby Yoda uh, almost genocided, but he held back. Yeah, good for him. He good only him. held back because he had supervision. Therefore, he did not hold back. It was supervision? Is that like the Force? Okay. <laughs> the, the Force. Anyway, um, I really liked last episode, but I feel like um, there was a lot of like ex machina elements. Yeah. In the, oh, wow. I, I just, I read some, like, um, explanations that, like, this was, a, like, actually a really important episode because to me it was kind of like, okay, so this was an impossible situation to get out of and they get out of it and that's the, that's a wrap, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it was inconsequential. But some people say that it is actually very important part of, like, what's going to happen in the future, so. Well. Just I a mean, theory. I mean, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is he ate the eggs. Is that going to come in play? I mean, it might be something about I how he, something his about relationship with, or his relationship with the um, uh, the New Republic. Yeah. Uh, guys, I have an important announcement. It's Friday the 13th. It's also November the 13th. And I his birthday! Turned, and his birthday! I, I have turned 32. Yay. 32. Yay! Yay! However, over the span of 2020, we all aged by five years. So you are <laughs> 37. 37. So ah, God. finally old enough to receive the great pubes I was told about. <laughs> we just we just did Obama's years real quick in one year. Yeah, technically I have a gray uh, a gray long hair right here in my beard, and I feel like you don't get beards until you go through puberty. So maybe beards are considered pubes. <laughs> Is That's... your tiny mustache a pube? I don't have a mustache. Oh wow, you did not just say it's that. So fine. Oh no. It's like a little peach. I have a peach fuzz. I love it. All, it's not a mustache. Little... It's a little peach. <laughs> All right, well, now that I've ruined my marriage and made the internet <laughs> weird, uh, guys, this is not a market substitute. Make sure you support the OG content on your own. Also, feel free to support the normies over on Patreon. Supporting us on Patreon means you get to watch ahead and watch the young cuts, and you help to sponsor our skits. One of them's coming out today. I'm putting it out. We had to shoot it uh, quarantine style, so hopefully you guys like it. Regardless, Ooh. let's get it cracking. All right, runs, I'm just going to close my blinds real quick because the sun literally came out of nowhere. Well... Here we go. Let it begin. Oh, guys, uh, Serge isn't with us because he has corona, and Sarah isn't with us because there's no way to watch safely. Yeah. We gotta take a break. We are the same. We are. I love that. She was the most Star Wars y of us all. Yeah. I learned that I made a mistake about Captain Cody. It's actually Commander Cody, and I am yes, a fraud. Yes, I saw that. Fraud. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're a fake Star Wars fan. You're not a real Star Wars fan. I'm a pimple on the ass cheek of society. Oh, you're at home. Never mind. They are like barely making it. Go home, I am. <laughs> I am home. <laughs> Oof. All right, suddenly interstellar. Wrong lady, of course. I'm already panicked. Stop eating, you shit. Stay back. Can you do that? Keep it steady. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that does not look good. Looks like the guy from Future Run. I'm trying my best here. Oh god. Oh god. Oh like god. holy fuck bro. I would be fucking like my my stomach would He's gonna have to do so much work to fucking get bro, this my, thing my, fixed. My stomach already dropped out of my ass for them, like it's gone. I don't know how they're doing this. Maybe you should just aim for the water. Oh you're coming in. Oh, because then his ship will be lost. I mean, if the thrusters did kick in, then we fuck.
Ah, oh, they got it out pretty easy. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this crane. That's tight. He's like, fuck you. His ship is fucked. I would just try to sell it for scraps at this point. No, you can't sell your baby. You gotta fix that bitch back up. Look at her, she's so pretty. Oh, is this me and you? Oh, they are so Oh, that's cute. so cute. Me and Katie found our next yes, cosplay. Please. Don't you disappear! Don't you fucking disappearing ass motherfucker! Pulling that shit. That just means you a baddie. I do it all the time. Nobody gives baddie. me credit for it. You know how many people I ghosted? That makes you an asshole, not a baddie. Ah! Oh god! Fucking fuck! That scared me, bro. Ew. Get that thing. <laughs> Swim or is that best card? No, man. He probably no. I bet he can swim. Well, he also walked through the desert. Yeah. Dude, the surgeon said, "Look, he's got this vinyl. I'd play that fucker all the time." The fuck is a mama This is gonna be good. What, bro? What is wrong with that? They want the best card because it's worth money. Oh, oh my fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's probably that chick. It has to be that other woman. What about the child? Whoa. Oh, there's three of them. Maybe they've got special armor for the water because they live on a water planet. How is he? If you guys see how like he closed up his thing Whoa. right before he got eaten, oh my god. Thank you. I've been searching for more of our kind. Well, lucky we found you first. I've been requested to deliver this child. I was hoping that. Whoa! They took off their helmets. Where did you get that armor? Yeah. This armor has been in my family for three generations. You do not cover your face. You are not Mandalorian. He's one of them. Thank you, Farrick. One of what? The children of the Watch are a cult of religious zealots that broke away from Mandalorian society. Oh, and shit. The goal was to reestablish the ancient way. This is the way. There is only one way. The way of the Mandalore. Where are you gonna go? Bruh, what the fuck do you believe now? Bruh, who's right? bo -Katan. I mean, literally, they can all, damn, equally be right. This is crazy this fucker now, Because like, they both said I some similar things, those. you know? Like, I don't know. You killed my brother. Now, I'm gonna kill your pet. Yeah, right. Let's go! 
That was pretty easy. Fools. Can we at least buy you a drink? Trask is a black market port. They're staging weapons that have been bought and sold with the plunders of our planet. Hmm. We're seizing those weapons and using them to retake our home world. Once we've done that, we'll see any Mandalore on the throne. That's not part of my plan. I've been quested with returning this child to the Jedi. I was hoping you would help me by creed. Ugh, what kind of food is it fucking no. eat? Fetus. Fetus little baby. I'm like so excited. Fetus, fetus. Something's come up. Can I leave him with you for a bit? Oh my god. What? You are gonna stay here. So I want you to be respectful and mind your manners. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> don't eat the fucking eggs, man. Watch this fucking turn. Look at him go. Oh! Look at it! Oh my god! Patty McCool. Patty McCool. This is about to be some fucking silly ass shit, man. Fuck your fur. Fuck your fur. Dude. <laughs> this dude. This guy's got jowls. Have we seen him before? Uh, he does look familiar, but I don't know if we've seen him in this show. I can't recall. Woo! Oh! Okay. I kind of really feels like they didn't need Mando's help. <laughs> He's like in the back. I think we have the trap, sir. Trapped him where? The cargo control area. Where? The cargo control area. <laughs> the cargo control area. Can you rob me? Spoils of war. I copy. If you think you're going to escape with those weapons, you are sadly mistaken. But we're not jettisoning anything. We're taking the ship, we're baby. We're taking the entire ship. What? Ah. Put some tea on. We'll be up in a minute. Why are they using him? There is something I need if I am to rule Mandalore, something that was once mine. They know where it is, and soon so will I. What? Regardless, I think she might mean the Black Saber. Oh. I got you your weapons. If you want my help fighting the Jedi, you will help me take this ship. You're changing the terms. I don't like her. Mando, do you never learn? <laughs> She's not really Mando, bro. Every single time a man goes on a mission, he gets fucked over. I mean, I. She says she's bro, from Mandalore, I know, man. Bro. I mean, just because I like she her. doesn't stick to the strict methods that my man does. I like her. Her sidekicks are I evil. Like she's a, she's a reformist, and he's an orthodox. Yeah. What is it, Captain? Another pirate. Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon. Are you able to eliminate them? No. How far have they gotten? They've breached the cargo hold and taken everything but the bridge. <laughs> you know what to do. Scuttle it. Bro, self self destruct. Long live the Empire. I mean that's that's Papa what this, yeah. No, I think they're about to hit the self destruct sequence. Holy fuck! Not into the city! Whistling birds. Oh my god, bro. Fuck this shit, dude. That fucking best. Oh my god. The dark saber. Jesse, you have Chris, you're right. You already know. Easy. Easy. Oh! No ship, Kenny. 
there's something I need to do. The offer stands if you change your mind. Where can I find the Jedi? I don't Take know. the foundling to the city of Kaladin on the forest planet of Corvus. Corvus? You find Ahsoka Tonus. What? Tell her you resent my bo -Katan. And thank you. Your bravery will not be forgotten. Oh, fucking shit, where is Sarah? This, this, this is the way? Ah! Holy fuck. Ahsoka Tonus, you know. Bro. No, 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 you don't. You don't. I have watched, um... Some of the Clone Wars, so. Okay. Damn. Guys, He's I so haven't watched cool. it. Therefore, oh my God, I'm just I just don't know it. Don't have that ah! Holy shit! Fuck. How did it grow so fast? And he's playing with the teddy bear. Okay, kid. Come on, it's time to go. Oh, but he loves. Oh, he's so upset. Give a pet, oh, man. No, he just answered me. <laughs> Bro, fix the ship all the way, please. I gave you a thousand credits. This was the best you could do. God damn, he like tied that shit up together, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The foundling, the child, baby Yoda, Yoders. Oh, oh my. my god. Oh, oh. Hey, he got his pet after all. Is that, is that dinner? Oh, hell no. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> Jake, but part of it fell off! God! You know where I'm taking you. Be a bumpy ride. Aww. He's such a happy passenger. There's no way that this thing does hyperspace now. Does it? Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> that ship is falling the fuck apart. Uh, directed by Bryce like, Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard. What? <gasps> Damn. Alright, my dog's about to eat my cat. One sec. Alright. Bro, they just name dropped the Soka fucking tunnel. That's gonna be. That's gonna I know, be and, and and what was the uh, Corvus? Uh, oh, fucking, I know I've heard Corvus. it before. Yeah, and, and all that. I know I've heard it all before somewhere, haven't we? <laughs> oh, this oh, is another fun episode. I I, I, seemed like really familiar about like this episode. I don't know why. It just felt I don't know. Yeah. I could be just feeling so. I know it's been Mando uh, going to places and getting into missions that have all gone sideways, but like this time he met other Mandalorians that have a complete different creed than he does, yeah. and those Mandalorians have a mission of retaking Mandalore. I that's just that's like some to, shit. to like to like unify all the Mandalores again or something. Yeah, because there's like so a section I am, of them uh, like I guess like you know our Mandos, you know the the type that kind of don't take off their helmets and like. Follow like the old ancient Mando religion, but then there's like yeah, the old way. So um, this like advanced shit forward like story wise by a lot, mm -hmm. and I I don't know like we're about to also get into some shit with Jedi like finally like and he knows nothing about Jedi. This is gonna be hold on. What? So Ahsoka Tano lives all the way now. This is in between episode three and episode seven. Why? So, like, that's what I'm saying. Nothing. She could have been in the other movie. I'm just, I'm nothing. I'm just, I'm. I'm Did I see that movie? Yeah. Like, what's happening? You've seen one of them, but I'm just thinking, you guys don't know her yet. Um, oh. If we end up watching Clone Wars, the series, you will. But I was just trying to put We should definitely together, watch Clone Wars. Wise. Um, but no, meeting Bo Cat, meeting Bo Cat and everything, like, I don't know. I, at first, like, I wanted to kind of, like, disbelieve her and everything, kind of thing. Cause she took off the helmet and, like, you know, people here in the Mandalorian try to, like, pretend to be the Mandalorians and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then, like, she was, like, said it passed on three generations and then they both said that, like, term Don Danic Farrick or whatever, Don Farrick yeah. kind of thing. And it's, like, there, there was also, like, a lot of similarities. Like, why would you go that hardcore level to try to be a Mandalorian? Like... So yeah, it was well that's like, I mean like I don't Cobb think she's Nath. bullshitting, and yeah. she's looking for the dark saber. And on top of that too, like we were wondering like why did they need uh, Mando Mando. if they were taking the ship? Because they were doing so well, but then like you were like oh they have a they have an ulterior motive. They're not just going for the cargo; they're going for the bridge. So like yeah, yeah. 
pretty much if you go on a mission in the Star Wars universe, expect a double cross. Katie, how how are you feeling about it? I like it. I really like this episode so far. My favorite of the season, and uh, I really like how like it's ex- the the Mandalorian universe is expanding. Because I was mm-hmm. kind of thinking that like like I know this is the way, but it's kind of radical. You know, like it's yeah. not it's it's like very strict. It's like like right now, like being a Muslim and like praying five times a day and like doing all the things. You know. Yeah. Like it's hardcore, and I'm not, I'm not saying that's bad, but it's like it's, yeah, like that, that's your life, you know. And so for her to be more like relaxed, I, I'm glad that like we found some Mandalorians that are like thinking about this differently yeah. about their identity. Yeah. And I wonder, you know? like, is he gonna get any inspiration from that, or like, I don't know, like, will that like start and change his Ooh. thinking? Like, I don't, I don't expect him like take off his helmet or anything, not yet or anything. I mean, I would love. See, to that's do. probably what they're working towards. Because mm-hmm. if I'm like, so if I'm a writer on the show, I'm like, yes, we should keep it that way. But also, like, Pedro Pascal has absolute range and fucking acting chops. So mm-hmm. like, eventually, yeah. let this man take his helmet off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then, like, we already think about how much we already, like, sympathize and identify with uh, Mando. No. And, like, now think about him pulling all that shit with, like, his helmet off. Mm-hmm. It's going to be... So, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see by the end of this. But also, I do like that they had, like, Moff Gideon's back here. He's talking mm-hmm. shit. And he's like, if they're already on the ship, it's too late. You know what to fucking do. Uh, I got to look up that guy, too. Like, that was so cool to see Moff Gideon, too. So, like... Oh man, a lot of things are gonna come into play later, and I'm just really excited. Like, so she wants the black saber too. He definitely wants. Yeah, because, it because I guess we've if seen you're gonna him. rule Mandalore, you need it. But like, so the black saber belongs to them originally. Uh, I think we I need remember. to watch Clone Wars to understand the history yeah. of Mandalore and like what happened with the black saber I think or the dark that's saber. That's what Sarah said last uh, week, didn't she? Last week on the Normie, Sarah said that thing. I do think she said something. Yeah, like no, that. Sarah. I know Sarah's that. Are in, uh, Wikipedia for this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I know the Mandalorians had beef with the Jedi a while back, so it I would be interested in seeing like more of that story and exactly how things went down. <clears throat> so like, okay, if they had beef, then like when he delivers the uh, the child and stuff, I wonder if that's gonna be a thing or like that'll be. I mean, I this beef was like a fucking fuck ton of time ago, so yeah, uh, we might be past that now. Damn, man, um, this is a fun episode. I, yeah, I, I, I was really mad at those squid again. dudes. <laughs> Like fuck those squid, fuck those squid dudes, guys! Like they threw baby Yoda into the squid mom or whatever. Fucked up. That was God. the most fucked up part. Yeah. Of so I'm not gonna lie. I was really sad and mad. I understand that people want Beskar because it's valuable, but yeah. also, don't y'all see what happens when you try to steal Beskar? Like, ten out of ten times, this man's murdered anybody trying to steal his shit. I just feel like. I- like, you know that Beskar is expensive and, like, worth something, but you also should know the people that are carrying it are absolutely ready to go ham. Y'all don't yeah. want that. Man, his shit keeps trying to get stolen, keeps getting fucked up, shot at. He's using all his, like, resources from it, like, just to deliver Yoda, a baby Yoda, and I love it. Like, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. really like the new Mandal, like, bo and her crew's, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. this, like, character design. And their um, like the their helmets look like owls. Like they looked way different. Like kind of there's like, like a mark on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They look like way more like like beaten down, you exactly. know, and just like used than uh, like Mando's fresh armor. <laughs> so that was nice to see. Yeah. No. No. I'm excited. I hope <laughs> they come back and play, and we see more of them. I'm really happy she told him like accurate information about the Jedi and everything. Because I was like, yeah. if he just went on this whirlwind for nothing, I'm going to be, like, super upset. Because I feel like he didn't, like, he just saved their asses, in a way. I have a legit question. Yeah. Is Baby Yoda a staple of this show? Yes. Yeah. Baby Yoda's the best thing. And he's like, like, so if he's going to go deliver Baby Yoda to the Jedi, would Baby Yoda no longer be on the show? No. Is it the same think... show without Baby Yoda? I feel it's like called. somehow, like, Mando is going to, like, be incorporated into, the, like, Jedi world eventually. Like, he's he's always going to be in Mandalorian, yeah. but, like, he has, like, no home I mean, and stuff. The show's called The Mandalorian, not yeah. Baby Yoda and Friends, so. It's Baby Yoda. Show. Listen, I don't know. It's about both of them helping each other. Yeah. I don't know. I do like him as a team. Uh, so maybe he'll choose to I don't... Who fucking knows, man? Damn. Yeah. I guess... This season could really end in a lot of different ways that is, at the moment, kind of unpredictable, but also kind of big. I don't like if he know. Because if he doesn't give Baby Yoda back, 
like if Baby Yoda stays with him, then it's going to be him and Baby Yoda going on adventures that are going to be like for Mando to like reunite with the Mandalorian mm-hmm. or maybe Yoda stays and Mando goes and does that without him. Like, I don't know, like whatever I mean, happens so at the end of the season, it's going to be some big changes. Like it doesn't like the season's almost over. It not over. Like in the season, are we gonna see Moth Gideon? Are we gonna see the Jedi? Is Baby Yoda gonna be delivered? Like is Mando ever gonna take yeah. off his helmet? Are we gonna see those other Mandos again? Bo Katan. Like there's a lot that can happen. This can go on for like seasons, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, considering how every time he tries to get like one piece of information, he literally has to go on a on know, a sure. like a life threatening <laughs> mission yeah. Yeah. to get it besides just like i mean he has enough resources he has enough money he has like he's decked in best car and he's always like i have i have money and they're always like but first right you have to go with me and risk <laughs> yeah, your life but you're good at killing and there's a lot of people need be killed uh and also, like every and i have it, but i was gonna say that the show is pretty much gone like day by day like, a big chunk of time hasn't skipped out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, it's if like, we're looking at the timeline, like, he's had Baby Yoda for, what, maybe, like, three months at the most? Like, maybe? But they're so So, you know so what I mean? Like, cute. it's just kind of... It's, like, chugging along in such small steps that I could see it going for a while. Like, I don't know uh-huh. how he's going to separate from him. They're so cute. He's like, no, I have enough pets, or don't play with your food. Like, they have so many cute little things. They're so close now to yeah. each other, and I love all that stuff. Um... One of the funny parts of me in this episode real quick was when the guy goes, yeah, we locked him in cargo control. And then he goes, cargo control? And he goes, no, right. <gasps> like, he, like, they re- had to repeat it. And I'm like, oh, my God, bro, you're so dumb. Dude was panicking. And Maybe he survived, but yeah. he probably did. And, he probably um, hit the water at Mach Frog 10. Lady and Frog Man <laughs> reunited. Saw the tadpoles. Yeah. Yay. I'm so ha- I'm so happy they, they're together. They will live. Yeah. Yes. They were very cute. I, like, I love the... Like the character designs, all the different aliens. And yeah, mm-hmm. it's just it's so creative. And it's, it's so really well done. Yeah, they really use well. this term a lot, where the universe feels lived in. Like mm-hmm. you got to that yeah. planet, and it didn't just feel like like that whole dock area had like a very docky feel. There were like fish people around and shit, and yeah. like frog people, and it's like oh, it makes sense why they would want to live on this planet. And it's just, I don't <laughs> know, like it's just every time they and- get somewhere. Even the ice planet had character. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that whole entire planet was ice. But it's like, also, we're inhabited by giant murder spiders. Like, It I goes down to, Star like, Wars is great detail, detail though. Like, it's, it's yeah. all that, plus, like, the food, the background, the, the, the clothes the aliens wear. Like, it's just their facial expressions. It's crazy. They do such a good job. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. Um, my favorite thing about the design of the, uh, the Empire. Mm-hmm. Uh, generals when they have like their little like achievements yeah. level here then it, it looks like cough drops like the ones you like press out of the package. yeah like boop, like pop one in <laughs> that's my favorite thing like i i saw that they, they like keep that design from like the first movies yeah. they had it, it looked like cough drops like literally plastered yeah. on it on their shirt and like they just like keep running with it and like that to me is just funny Long that's the the it's so definitely. hard to stamp out that fascism well, guys, uh, next week we should have more to the crew. Uh, yeah. So we're just starting to feel better already. Knock on wood. Yay! Uh, so <laughs> we'll be all loaded up next time, and we'll see you guys then. And Sarah, bye. Hopefully joining too. Yep. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Explorin, Ruby, Aaron, Joe, Mags, Harry, Mr. Mamas, Nick. Brower House, Keyboard Junkie, and ZJP. Thanks, guys.